Mr. Chair. Mr. Stauber, you're recognized for five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I rise uh, today in strong support of my colleague, Bill, uh, and I helped co-sponsor co HR 764, the Trust the Science Act introduced uh, by uh, Representative Bobert. First of all, the gray wolf is not endangered, and that's a fact. Not one person here can argue against this. Please see the chart behind me uh, provided by the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. The blue dotted line is the ESA recovery plan. That's the bottom line. The green dotted line is the minimum required to conduct a wolf hunt in the state of Minnesota. That's a green line. The number of wolves, that you can, as you can see, is at about 2,700, which is about 1,300 wolves above the ESA recovery goal. And depending on what groups you talk to, some say there's about 5,000 total in Minnesota. Moose kills are up. Minnesota deer hunters are seeing more wolf tracks and fewer deer. Agricultural payouts are up. I just heard the Minnesota, I just had rather, the Minnesota Farm Bureau uh, up here for a meeting. They detail that besides the economic hit of losing a calf to a wolf kill, the extra calories burned by cows trying to escape wolves leads to malnourished calves, meaning more economic anguish. And let alone the sleepless nights of cattlemen wondering about their overnight losses they can't defend. In the biggest city that I represent, the city of Duluth, there are domestic animals being attacked by wolves. And the government has tried to do the right thing. In 2009, the Bush administration delisted the gray wolf, rightfully so. Anti-science groups sued to relist. And again in 2013, the Obama administration rightly delisted the gray wolves. And again, anti-science groups sued to relist. In 2020, the Trump administration rightfully so delisted the gray wolf. And again, anti-science groups sued to relist. Do we see a pattern here? President Bush, Obama, and Trump. What do they all have in common? They trusted the science and delisted the gray wolf. Activists, litigants do not. They just sue and fundraise. They don't care about the agriculture kills. They don't care about the moose numbers. They don't care about our deer hunting culture in Minnesota. All we want is to manage our own herd. We should be celebrating the recover recovery of the gray wolf with responsible management practices and regulated hunting. That's why everybody here should support Representative Bobert's bill and trust the science. It exempts the wolf from judicial review because it's been proven time and again that the activist lawyer organization will find a favorable judge well outside anywhere impacted by wolves and file a lawsuit as my, my colleague and representative from Wisconsin just stated. I look forward to voting in favor of Representative Bobert's bill, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. The gray wolves have um, rebounded, and they've, their numbers are more than satisfactory. 